Hello guys, today I have a very quick video for you on YouTube. It could be even a short, but shorts on YouTube are like vertical videos, which is not the case for Laravel tips. But still, it's a two-in-one video. I want to show you the trick on how to save the data when loading has many relationships, but also why you need to be careful with that. So imagine you have projects list with tasks. So project has many tasks and we have two tasks with project ID one. And we do something like this. So we need to load project with tasks. If we launch that in Tinkerwell or wherever, we have the project with tasks models. That's it. But it loads all the columns, which may be not what we need. And if there are many columns with a lot of data, it may be polluting our memory and bandwidth. So what we can do here, the first tip, is provide the list of fields that we actually need. So for example, ID, comma, project ID, and name. So we don't need the timestamps, for example. We'll load that, and as you can see, the timestamps are gone, and we'll load only the fields that we need. But the second part of the tip is be careful, because if you don't load the relationship field like this, so if you want just ID and name, we we'll refresh, and then no tasks are returned. Although you specify the tasks as a relationship, since it doesn't use the project ID field, it runs incorrect SQL query and doesn't return any relationships for the tasks at all. The worst part that it doesn't throw any errors, it just returns empty result. So be careful with that one, but at the same time, saving some data and specifying exactly the fields that you need is one of a typical performance optimization techniques. So it's good. So yeah, that's a short video, but still two in one. And subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one and longer ones. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.